Jeff, your executive gardener here. I hope you're having a good fall season. We're almost getting ready to enter winter here in Houston, Texas. So um, this episode, I'm going to talk about living healthy and what I've done with my family to live healthy. Now this, uh, I'm going to go back to my grow tower because I think it's a really cool thing. Um, I've tried to grow lettuce and I've tried to grow radishes and I've tried to grow cucumbers in the winter before. And this fall season, this winter season, no lie, in Houston, Texas, and those in south, southern Texas know what I'm talking about, we've had no less than 25 inches of rain. It has rained every day, um, probably every day in October, and then about every day in November we're getting ready to have the same. So it's wreaking havoc. If anybody's a gardener, you know how hard it is to grow anything with appropriate drainage, whether it's tomatoes, lettuce, radishes, turnips, cucumbers, how hard it is to grow on the ground when your ground is literally flooded. So uh, as I talked about in the previous episode, I did buy uh, a tower garden that uh, I'll put the link on where I got it below. I don't endorse this product, but I'll tell you, I'll show you, excuse me, how cool it is and how successful it has been for myself and for my family to eat fresh produce throughout the entire winter. It is just absolutely overproducing. And the great thing about it is because it's a raised tower, there's soil in the bins, I'll show you, it allows the appropriate water to drain out the bottom and not get soggy, and not let the, the cukes and the radishes and the lettuce get all mildewy, etc. So I'll show you what I'm growing, but health is obviously very important. If you watch my channel, I talk about it a lot. At the Executive Gardener channel and the Executive Gardener community, we talk about health. Other than your family and your faith, your health probably should be the most important thing that you focus on. You only have one body, treat it right. So if you put junk in, you'll get junk out. As most of you know, we have a huge obesity epidemic. And what I'm doing for myself and my family to stay thin is grow lettuce in the grow tower. So I'm going to show you a little bit of my lettuce, a little bit of my cucumbers, a little bit of my radishes, how they're doing. Now what you're going to see here is the second crop. So the first crop has already been out. The second crop is grown in in 30 days and because of all the rain we've had and the water, things are just booming. So let me show you again a close-up of my grow tower salad garden, show you how it's doing. And maybe you, if you live in an apartment, a condo, or a place that has land, you can get a tower. And regardless of how much rain you get or you don't get, but if you get a ton of rain like we have, you can continue growing healthy produce throughout the entire rainy season or fall, winter, or summer, it doesn't matter. If you live in an apartment, you need a little bit of space or a condo, you have a patio, this is all you need, I'm telling you. And you, like us, can eat fresh salads the entire year and watch your waistline and, and uh, take care of your body, give your body nutrients. So uh, this would be my final conclusion of my grow tower, but I am so excited about it. Again, I don't endorse this product. I got the product of my own, and I encourage you to... Uh, uh, to do as well. Let me show you how it's going and I'll show you the salads I make. So here we are. This is called the Green Stalk Grow Tower Garden. It's soil based so there's soils in each of those cells. Each, um, each layer has I believe six pots. Yeah, six pots that are filled with soil. So let's take a look at this. Again, this is the second round. So as you'll see here, um, I have a little bit of uh, some spinach. I've got some lettuce. But look how vibrant the color is. Uh, there's a tree above this that drops these little pods, but forget those. But lettuce is doing great. Again, this is the second round of lettuce that I've grown in this tower, okay? Uh, this I've replanted my seeds uh, in another container and replanted these, and they're all starting to grow again. We have had so much lettuce, it's been unbelievable. So in each tower, you'll see there's different varieties there, uh, all doing very well. Um, one of the other things that grow well here in this grow garden, and again, we're talking about a salad garden, is cucumbers. So you can see here, I have uh, a bunch of, uh, these are pickling cucumbers that I have. I don't need a lot, but um, uh, I already picked a bunch of them off. But there's pickling cucumbers that are um, being grown here, and you'll see they grow right into the soil. But, um, yeah, I don't want to grow too much because, uh, as you'll see, there's more back here, another cucumber. 
Um, so it's pretty loaded with cucumbers, but as you'll see, I grow it on the ground. Some of the leaves, because of all the rain, have gotten a little mildewy, but doing much better than if I planted it. There's another one down there uh, in the ground. Uh, but uh, you'll see here the spinach is doing uh, very well as well. And spinach, as you know, uh, like here, I'll, I can eat it right off the plant. The spinach is just delicious. Um, it's kind of funny. There's a little ladybug actually on the uh, lettuce. So I have radishes that are starting to grow there. Um, and again, this is my second round. I want to point out again, I've talked about this before, but lettuce is what you call a cut and come again uh, plant. So um, you can cut it, it will grow back additional leaves. So what I decided to do with this stalk is kind of let it grow after I picked all the leaves off. And you can see there's already additional leaves that are starting to come again. Uh, this is not the result of bugs. Um, this is the result, quite frankly, of, of the spinach. Um, unbelievable wind that we had, and it just ripped the crap, excuse my language, out of this, out of this spinach, and um, it's wreaked havoc. Um, again, um, I have no complaints. We've grown tons of food here. Some of my cells here are empty, but some of them I'm replanting, so you'll see there's more radishes that are being grown there. Um, one of the questions I got about my grow tower is, you rotate the grow tower based on where the sun is and it's just too heavy to spin or turn. So what I typically do is the sun, uh, this part gets more sun uh, than this part. So on this part, I usually grow things that require less sun during the day. Simple as that, pretty easy to do. But um, anyway, this is a grow tower, uh, done very well, very pleased. Um, now I talked about this before, I have not had many pest issues with this but until recently and here's the problem um so i had no like uh, caterpillars or uh, cabbage worms or anything like that eating my leaf here's the problem because of all the rain in houston i've had slugs snails and they managed to crawl up the plastic and do a little bit of damage to some of the leaves but that's quickly solved for so what i did was i put that snail bait that kills snails on the entire outside not in the garden but on the entire outside perimeter of the garden and it actually served pretty well so most of the empty dead snail shells are at the bottom and it's very easy to do kind of uh, create a perimeter barrier kind of like uh, that the snails will be attracted to that before they get to uh, the grow tower so that's what I have again second round doing very well I want to point out again the spinach that has these leaves in it it's not because of bugs or anything like that it's just we had awful, absolutely awful uh, storms, wind, rain, and um, uh, little can be done when the, the wind and rain is driving 30, 40 miles an hour. But uh, given that, it still looks pretty darn good. So I'm going to show you kind of um, what I do here, what I pick off, and um, uh, the salad that I make. Um, and again, this thing just keeps uh, producing. Uh, hang tight. So I know I'm not tuned in here, but uh, that's fine. Uh, I'll show you what I do. It's real simple. So you see the lettuce that I have here. I have a salad spinner. All I do is go over here. I clip a piece of lettuce, put it in here. It's just that simple. So again, remember lettuce is a cut and come again. So you don't tear down the entire stalk. Many varieties of lettuce will continue to grow leaves again and again. I just uh, take, uh, take that, cut it, and I just simply Again, go all around. Look at this. I mean, look at this lettuce. For those that are big fans of salad, look how vibrant red this is. This is red sale lettuce. Again, no, um, no blemishes, no problems. It's full of water too. So I just simply put it in this uh, spinner, spin it. We're going to load this salad with uh, tons of uh, chicken and uh, probably oil and vinegar to keep it healthy. And I'll show you that what I also did here is I picked a cucumber that I got off the plant yesterday. I don't need to show you how I can pick a cucumber, but look how healthy that thing is, man. Beautiful uh, green pickling cucumber. You can make dill pickles, but we're going to chop it up and put it in the salad as well. But I'll show you that, um, you know, what I may want to do in my salad is put a little spinach. So I put a little baby spinach leaf in here. Uh, uh, as you know, spinach is loaded with antioxidants, keeps you healthy. And I did grow a few other leaves here, so I'll just kind of show you uh, what else I grew, so, um, so it's not really typical, but you know, I want, I have some baby romaine leaves, I can put that in there, 
And then some of people put uh, radish, le uh, radish leaves in their salad, but long story short is I'm gonna load this up. We've been doing this, guys. Uh, my wife and I are the mainly ones that eat salad. My kids eat it sometimes. But we've been doing this uh, for the past 30 days, okay? And eating off of this one tower garden for the past 30 days. And uh, it's funny, we had some, uh, we had some uh, visitors over the other day and they said, oh my gosh, like your lettuce is like cotton candy. Like, you know when you eat cotton candy and it just melts in your mouth? That's exactly what this is like. You put some fresh chicken, cucumbers, fresh radishes, and everything I have can be grown here. Um, and I am growing carrots in a separate container. Carrots probably need a little thicker root system so I don't do it in here. But uh, uh, look at that. So it works very well. So guys, that's my episode from the Executive Gardener channel. I hope you've enjoyed it. Again, this grow tower works great for me. It does cost a little bit of money. I don't know what you can spend, but if you have between $100 uh, and $250, let's say, uh, get one of these. Um, it's a great deal. There's other varieties out there. This one has worked for me. I buy a lot of stuff. I experiment with a lot of stuff in gardening. So a lot of it doesn't work. This has worked. And I'm going to use this for the spring, summer, fall, and garden. Excuse me, winter gardens that I have. Again, you have to rotate the crops because different things are going to grow at different times of year. But it works well, keeps your family thin, healthy, and gives you plenty of nutrients in the body. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. We'd love to have you a part of the Executive Gardener community. Give me your feedback, give me your comments. I'll try to interact with you and tell you what works for me and what hasn't worked for me. If it works for you, great. If it doesn't, then, then, then that's okay too. But I'm here to learn from you as well. So in the meantime, I'm going to go eat my salad. You guys have a great week. Take care. Bye.